Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64. This is part 12 of my playthrough of Mother 3. In the last part, we made it all the way to uh, this place. Uh, what was it called again? Yeah, it was called, well, Factory. Uh, as you can see, I actually off screen, I actually went and leveled up uh, Lucas and Boney a bit. They're both at level 15 now. I did die a couple of times in the last part, but I still made it over to this point nonetheless, so got to the save point anyway, so that's good. And while I was fighting the enemies, I also got a bit more money as well, so that's pretty good. And I also have some more uh, items because of that as well. So I got all of, all of this now. Apparently Boney has two sticks, but I don't see how that really helped me. Because Boney, Boney can't equip weapons, it doesn't see him. No, he can't. And I already have the easy grip stick right here, which looks more like a baseball bat. So, anyway... Talk to this guy. Oh, hey there, Lucas Morning. The factory isn't easy, but you do get free tickets to Club Titty Boo out of it, so it's not all bad. This is how we're going to be able to get into Club Titty Boo, so let's go and, let's go and see. There's some clay men. Giant engines with BR2 on them. Stop moving, Isaac. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Are you here at the factory for something? If you feel like working, I'm sure to hire you. Yeah, let's talk to Pig Mask then. Hey, you suspicious fellow. What are you doing here? What's that? You want to go to Club Titty Boo? That's a special place for workers here to go and relieve their daily exhaustion. It's not for people who don't work here. If you absolutely have to go there, then it's simple. Just do some part-time work here. What do you say? Are you up for some part-time work? Sure. Yeah? Then that makes things easy. The job is to transport clay men. First, go all the way inside. You'll find a ladder there. Go down it, you'll find a bunch of clay men in the area below. Some of them will be almost out of energy, so you got to bring them back up here. Bring them one at a time. After you've brought three up, you're done. Just to be safe, I'll give you the sketch of how the factory is laid out. Got a factory sketch, alright. Oh, and sign your name in this document. No, no, not your name. I mean, you know, the name of of the person in the background. The person pulling the strings, I guess you could say? What I mean to say is the, the, the player's name. I just need it for verification purposes. It's nothing too important. You know how it is. Anyway, anyway if you could do that, that'd help out a lot. Yeah, so basically... So basically, if your name wasn't correct, or your player's name, if you put it in incorrectly, then, well, this is basically your second opportunity to change it, so I'm not going to change it. It's still Robotnik. It's fine. Great, Robotnik. Is that your correct name? Yes. Robotnik. All right, got it. I'll add it to our records. Now listen, don't do anything bad because that'll only inconvenience Robotnik. So don't forget that. All right then, work hard. Hold on, dog. dog have, dogs have dog things to keep them busy. Dog, go on ahead and do what the boss dog says. And Boney's whimpering. Alright, well there goes Boney then. The claimant low on energy are very weak, so you'll know which ones they are right away. Alright, hop to it. Alright, let's go then. Alright, there's a bunch of claimant there. So yeah, just look at my status very quickly. Level 15, I have 59 PP, 133 HP, so... Okay then, well... Get my way. Hey, you. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Did you come to see me? Oh, you didn't? I see. How's Flynn? Same as always? I see. No, nope, there's... There's Boney. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a revitalizing machine here. Instant revitalizing device. I don't have to use it, though. I'm at full health anyway. There's Boney. Woof woof, off off, woof woof, haha. Ha. It's nice to exercise once in a while. Um, alright, let's go down the ladder. There's another pig mask here. Hey part-timer, I use this lift to send low energy claimant up to the ground floor. Just bring one here and talk to me. Okay. That seems to be an okay one, actually. Yeah, I have to go all the way inside here. Seem to have one right here. Okay. Okay, just gotta move him, just like this. Okay. Gotta move him along the path, I guess. And this is some interesting music as well. Okay, this is almost like controlling the clay man, actually. And my phone's ringing, I'll be right back. Anyway. Alright, come on, Clay Man. Let's move him along here. Oh, 
Okay. And here we are then. Oh, bro, one already, have you? Okay, hold on a sec. There we go, just went right through his body, forget it. Oh, there's a lift, I guess, alright. Just pushes them up, okay. Oh, and I go back up as well, okay. Why am I saying okay a lot? Okay. Alright. So I guess that's one then. Um... Actually, hold on, am I supposed to bring him somewhere else, or am I just supposed to leave him up here? Oh yeah, I have to bring him over here, okay. Oh, good work, Lucas. Oh. Okay. Aaron, he's a powered up clay man now. Alright. Interesting. And where is he going? There should be more. Just bring him on up here. No. Nope. Two more to go. Okay. Let's do it then. We have two more clay men. Actually, could I take the lift down, I wonder? Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a second one there already. Alright, bring him over here. Just a sec. Alright. The last one's probably going to be farther away, though. And there's our second one, though. Alright. Pony is still barking. Okay, put him over here, uh oh, hold on a second, get in through here, there we go, there's our second one, alright, good work, you can just leave it there, we'll handle it from here, go and get the next one, okay, one more to go, okay, back down, and yeah, there's one with a lot of energy, um, so one more then. Or actually, is there any down here? Oh yeah, there's one down here actually. Let's go. Okay, I guess I don't have to keep him on the path then, but... Just do it. Okay, so this is our last one, so let's just take it back over to the pig mask. If I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly, I believe you can come back here multiple times. So, yeah. And you can actually keep doing uh, more work and you can get more money. So if you ever... Basically, if you're ever running low on money, you can always keep coming back here and get more. Basically, all you have to do. I do sound a bit bored because, for one thing, Lucas walks very slow when he... When he's escorting the claimman over to this place. Ooh, good work, that's enough for today. Don't forget to get your pay from Mr. Brown. He's the guy at the entrance, all right. A pig mask with an actual name. That's new. And there we go, we finished our part-time job. So now we can go to Club Titty Boo. Let's do it then. And there's Boney. Oh, good job today, here's the reward for a hard day work. Got a ticket. And here's your pay for today, 200 DP. Work every day and you can make even more money. Work up a good sweat as you strive for your dreams. You're still young after all. It's gone really late. Go relax the club, titty boo, and have a good time. Good job today. And we got Boney. 
He just teleports right beside me. Went right through a table. Okay, might as well just save now. So now, um, actually, let me see here. DP, no. Okay, I think we're good. We're good to go. Let's go to Club Titty Boo then. And by the way, also I forgot to mention, uh, while I was leveling up Lucas, he actually uh, learned Offense Up Alpha. So, uh, let me just show it here. Yeah, he has Offense Up Alpha now. Raises one ally's offense, effective when stacked. Still have top spec alpha. Yeah, not love, not love alpha because I like top spec more because it sounds cooler. There's some enemies there, but got an area map. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna fight these enemies just yet. Roboy, Roboy leads to Club Titty Boo. Do you want to ride up it? Sure. Tickets, please. Yes, everything's in order here. Please get on. Not just yet. I'm gonna fight them. Let's just go to Club Titty Boo. Okay then. Alright. We are up here now. Is it a factory or right down it? No. Okay, by the way, if you had a chance to look through the bin binoculars there. 1db for a look. Okay, let's look then. And there is a giant tower over there. Okay then. And Moni's whimpering. Got a present. And there's apparently... Yeah, fireworks. There were fireworks inside. Ah. I don't know why it always says ah, that just sounds very weird. Anyway. Let's save again. We're at Club Diddy Boo. Okay. So anyway, who are these guys? Whoa there, haven't seen you around here before. We don't allow pets inside. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Come back some other time. Okay, well, looks like we're not getting into Club Titty Boo after all. That is sad. Hold on a second, he's coming back. Well, that's pro. Whoa, is that guy who had a dog with him just a minute ago? And some dog-like dude. No, there's something fishy about this. Where'd that dog from earlier go, and where'd this dog-like dude come from? On top of that, you smell underage. Sniff, sniff. You smell like an underage kid and a dog. Now you mention it, this is weird. No suspicious people allowed. That's our rule here. Scram, get lost, you kid-like guy and you dog-like dude. Now I say we pulverize him right here. Oh. Oh my. If it isn't the underage-smelling poo and the dog-smelling wolf. I take it you two have been mistaken for an underage kid and a dog yet again. Giggle. Why? You know these dudes, Violet? I don't know, I still say there's something not right about these guys, especially this dog-like dude here. Shake. Don't look away from me. Shake. See, you do know how to shake, Grin. Yes, I do know how to shake, but... This guy is definitely dog-like, but it seems he isn't a dog. But do it. By, a, by chance you are a dog, you'd be one of the best dogs to ever shake. Heh. <laughs> Wonderful. Come in, have lots of fun, forget about all your worries. Okay. Hey, dude. Have fun. Okay then, let's let's go in. Ooh, that was scary. Okay. Yeah, so we're here in Club Titty Boo. Shh, 
Listen, but don't change the expression on your face. I know I'm dressed in this crappy girly outfit, but it's me, Kumatora. Oh, it's Kumatora. We met the Sunshine Forest, remember? I'll explain everything later. Put on a smile, will ya? Okay, good. Okay, the next DCMC concert... The next DCMC song's about to begin. Please go on in, find some empty seats. Giggle. Actually... I believe we can find some things. Here we are basically so is on Sandlot Club. Today you should really try one at least once. Can I speak? Now what do we got? Oh wait, we can't buy anything. Got a doggy biscuit. Uh, oh darn, 70 HP. Big City Burger, okay. Let's get obese then. I'm not gonna waste all my money on that, but let's see here. Yeah, I have too much stuff in Lucas's inventory, so. Still have the two sprinting bombs. Wait, chicken? Oh, okay. Have no idea where I got the chicken from, yet again. Um, how about I buy another one for Boney? I don't know, do you seem to restore a lot of HP, but... I'm not really gonna try to waste my money here, but actually, what can I sell? I don't think I'll be needing these sticks, definitely. Forget you stick. And forget you other stick. Okay. And actually, I think there's also other things that I don't really need here. Hold on. I don't need the... I don't need this, I don't think. The chicken. Um, I have no idea what if the chicken will even come in handy, so maybe I'll just sell it. I don't know. Flea powder, best for flea problems. Okay. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll keep that, maybe it'll come in handy. Antidotes, I have no idea if I should keep them or not, but maybe just in case, I don't know. Um, go in. Okay. And there's some pig masks here. Yeah! And some whistling. E, I love you, magic. Bakio, Bakio. OJ, woo! Zmiz, you're the greatest. Okay, yeah, lucky. Okay. Let's go take our seats. Actually, where do we sit? No problem here. What do you have to say? Wow, you're really late. The DCMC concert's already over. Great. Everyone's just waiting for the encore now. Giggle. Nope. Huh, this isn't the restroom. Oh, this isn't the dressing room. Huh, I messed up again. Oh my goodness. Ah, watch where you're walking. You got ketchup all over my clothes. Aw, oh, man. Thanks a lot. Oh, sir. Pardon me. You like a big bag of city fries? It's only 40 DP. Sure, why not? Thanks. Th these weren't selling well at all. So we really appreciate your business. Giggle. Let me out, please. On, this is in the restroom. Oh, wait. It's doing the exact same thing. Can we not leave this place? See that scary looking guy over there? I thought for sure he was our head honcho, but apparently there are people way, way higher up on the ladder than him. I've been wondering about it for a while now, but you know Lucky the bass player? That totally has to be a wig. Hehe. <laughs> Actually, can I even talk to this guy? Yeah, what do you want? Sniff, sniff. You smell like a dog, like a dog and a kid. This ain't no place for dog smelling kids to come. Okay, so, are you just supposed to wait now? I can't seem to leave. Or can I? No. No, that's too bad, but please try some time, okay? Gotta be something. Hold on, you look familiar. Oh, it's Tessie. Lucky the bass player definitely looks a lot like Buster, but I don't know, there's something different about him. I can't quite put my finger on it. I hope the encore starts soon. I know after each concert, one of the girls here even gets gives out free DCMC pamphlets. Tanagasa. In my line of sight is that girl who's always at the beach. She's staring at me like she really likes me. I'm starting to think that I could like her too. Tanagasa. In my line of sight is that man who's always at the beach. She's staring at me like he really likes me. I'm starting to think that I could like him too. And what about you? Supposedly there's just one guy who makes the whole world go round. No, actually, I'm not sure if it's a guy or not. I guess it could be a woman or even a kid. Okay. No problem here. What am I supposed to do? It doesn't seem as though I can actually leave. What am I 
supposed to do then? Are we just supposed to wait? Wait for something? Oh wait, can I talk to... Ew, you have such a hairy face, Chuckle. These front row seats belong to us. Stay away from here, you have some nerve. Forget you, lady. Oh, there. The encore won't start if we keep walking around like this. Let's go sit down, okay? Sure. Yeah, that's sitting down. Sitting on invisible chairs or something. Or no, they're actually just standing up. Yeah, yeah. Great. Walking like this is exhausting. And who exactly is this guy? There's Kumatora again. What would you like to drink, sir? Giggle. You want... Water? Oh. Oh, hey there, Lucas. I was wondering who in the world would order water in a place like this. Hey, come on, water? <sighs> hey, Violet Baby. One fizzy soda for this here boy, and a big city cola for his dog-like friend. It's on me, the great Thomas, of course. Certainly, sir. One fizzy soda instead of water, and one big city cola coming right up. Giggle. Wow, I never thought I'd see you here, Lucas. Here you are, gentlemen. Listen, but don't change the expression on your face. There's a lot I need to talk to you about after the DCMC concert is over. After it's over, don't leave. Hang on in the lobby. I'll be there to get you. Alright, see you later. You idiot, don't change your expression. Well, enjoy yourselves, giggle. Okay, then. Hey, Lucas, what were you and Violet talking about? Never use her as such a ladies' man. And I never knew I was so illiterate. Now, actually... Oh, it's starting. There's some music here, so I'm actually gonna turn this up here. And, I'll go, and I'm gonna shut up for a little bit. Oh, wait, Tonda Gus, are you enjoying the show? Wait, hold on. Oh, my pork! Looks like our time is up, sad to say. Here's one last song for ya. Here's King P's theme. Hit it. Okay, here we go. Hopefully it's not too loud for some people, but... Woof woof. My ears are ringing. And hopefully your ears aren't as well. I'm not sure how how that might have, uh... I'm not sure how that would have sounded in when I... <laughs> can't speak English. I'll have to go back... After I'm done recording this, I'm gonna go back and watch a video to see if the sound doesn't sound too screwed up. Because, uh, again... Because the thing is, is that... I'm using Microsoft Life, Ta Life Cam, I mean, geez, to, uh, record my voice here. And at the same time, it's also recording the music because it's right next to my laptop, but hopefully it doesn't sound too horrible because the quality isn't perfect on the mic on the microphone, so, yeah. Wasn't that DCMC show just great? It was so full of soul. Choo-choo. How about a DCMC fan flight as a souvenir of your visit to Club Titty Boo? Sure. They're real popular with diehard fans. You just scored yourself some nice swag. Okay. 
actually, does he? Will you come back again? You won't? You will? You will won't? Giggle. Giggle, right? Are you doing anything later? Are you not? Give you a break already? Will I give you no break already? Whatever, I'm tired, just fly. Okay, anyway. And let's go over here. This way, this way. Okay. I go in here. Staff only. Oh. Down here. Okay. Come on, hurry it up. This way. Actually, is there anything down here? I'm gonna disobey Kumatora here. Even though she's actually Violet. But she's disguised, she's disguised though. She's actually Kumatora. Uh, we have some enemies here, actually. You know what? Let's take them on. I think this has been going on for a little while now, so I think I'm just gonna end it off, end the video off soon. But yeah, I want you to at least, uh, oh, Hypnosis Alpha. I want to at least give you a chance to listen to the music there, though. Pony, dodge quickly. And he's done. So yeah. Okay. Darn, just went right past him, forget it. Let's just go off. What's going on? The secret passage is handy, but I always get covered in mud every time I use it. Not to mention that sticky junk from all those slugs. Gonna hop in the shower real quick, so just relax here. Oh, we got a save frog. Hold on. Uh, what about DP? 15. Now let's just take it. And let's just save. Okay. Now let me just look at my status here. It's always good to to probably level up, but I leveled up a little bit off screen already, so. No. How you doing? Wow, right in my face. Some way or another, I wound up in, with this fancy room. Anyways, go shower, you two. There's even a hot spring in there. That's more your thing. We can talk afterwards. How about N.O. No. You're exhausted and dirty, ain't you? A shower will freshen, will freshen you right up. I don't look dirty. I know you want to hurry and all, but come on, you guys read. Just go take a shower. How about N.O. No. How about you, dog? You want me to shampoo you all up? That sounds inappropriate, so I'm going to say woof. Just take a damn shower already. Fine then. Uh oh, what is this? After showering, the three conversed at great length, almost as if filling in the three-year gap that had separated them. They discussed the rescued monkey. They discussed the hummingbird egg from Oso Castle and how it went missing. They discussed the fact that one of the DCMC band members appears to be an amnesic duster. And they discussed the mysterious army that had radically transformed Hasmili Village as if assembling the jumbled pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, they told each other what they knew to put their thoughts together. The coming battle will not be easy. This more than anything, they knew all too well. I want to be stronger. It was at around this time that Lucas truly began to have such feelings. Okay then. I guess we're taking a shower then. And that's how I finally managed to sneak myself in here, but we'll never find out what happened to the hummingbird egg until Duster regains his memory. At this rate, there's no telling when the pigs will get their hands on it. Lucas, see Duster and try talking to him. Maybe he'll remember something if he sees you two. There are guards outside. They're not exactly bad guys, but I don't want to risk making things more complicated. Oh. Climb up this ladder and go through the attic. You can get to Duster's room from there. It's not the most direct way to get in there, but you're less likely to get caught. I'll get all the DCMC members together. I need to explain the situation to them, too. See you in a, l in a little bit. Okay, then. Well. Yeah, there's our hot spring, then. Let's go around. Okay, anyway. So, yeah, so there we go then, but we made it all the way over here, so, uh, you know what, I think this is a good stopping point, though, so yeah. So we did a little bit in this part, we finally got the Club Titty Boo here. I think in the next part, though, we'll continue on to the attic. I'm done for now, though, so, oh, hello there. Forget you guys. But yeah, in the next part, we'll continue on to the attic of Club Titty Boo then, so, yeah, alright then.
But I think that's it for now, though. So this is Dr. Robotnik64. Thank you for watching. The shower's so strong that it actually hurts. Wow, really. This is Dr. Robotnik64. Thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or maybe subscribe. And also feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos I recently upload to there. The link to my Twitter account is in the description of all my videos, including this one. So, yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe the Attic in, uh... I believe the Attic in Club Titty Boo, it's actually kind of difficult, so... Probably off-screen, I might try to level up maybe Lucas and Boney a bit by going back down here, so... Maybe, I'm not sure, but yeah. If I do die, I'll be back here anyway, so... Yeah. Get my girls in the next part, you mean? Alright. But yeah, that's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later!